Have you ever tried to play a song on your mobile app only to be met with an error message saying the file couldn't be opened? It's frustrating, right? If you've experienced this, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into a common issue with file access in Xcode and Swift. I totally understand how annoying it can be when everything seems to be working perfectly, and then suddenly you hit a wall. You're not alone in this. Many developers face similar challenges when dealing with file management in their apps. Let's look at the specific situation. One user recently asked, why does my app say the file couldn't be opened, even though I can see it in the directory? They mentioned that after restarting the app, their downloaded MP3s wouldn't play, despite being visible in the file manager. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what could be causing this issue? It often boils down to how files are accessed and managed in the app's sandbox environment. We'll break it down step by step to help you understand what's going on. And stick around. I've got a crucial tip at the end that could save you a lot of headaches when working with file management in your apps. To address the issue of files not opening after restarting the application, the user should first check the file paths being used. It's important to ensure that the file paths are correct and that they point to the right location in the documents folder. Next, the user should confirm that the files are still present in the app's sandbox after the application restarts. This can be done by using the file manager to list the contents of the directory again. If the files are present, the user should check the permissions for accessing these files. Sometimes, the app may lose access to files due to sandboxing restrictions. Additionally, the user should ensure that the file names and paths are correctly formatted. Any discrepancies in naming or path structure can lead to the error message stating that the file could not be opened. Finally, if the issue persists, the user may want to implement error handling to capture and log any errors when attempting to access the files. This can provide more insight into what might be going wrong. Did you know? The first MP3 player was created in 1997 and could only hold about 30 songs. Now we can carry thousands in our pockets, but sometimes technology still throws us a curveball. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. One user shared an alternative solution. They realized that when saving the file path, they used the full absolute path in core data. However, upon restarting the app, the application identifier changed leading to a different documents folder path. They suggest using a relative path instead, which can prevent this issue. Here's the tip I promised. Always log the file paths and check for errors when accessing files. This simple habit can save you a lot of time and frustration in the long run. And there you have it. With these troubleshooting steps, you should be able to resolve the file access issue in your app. Remember, keeping track of file paths and permissions is key. If you found this helpful, hit the subscribe button for more tips and don't miss our next video on optimizing your app's performance.